thinking about it. I mean, yeah, I would always, I would always be considerate of that fact because everything that you do, you have to think about. This is the reason why I tell guys, you know, there's a lot of guys in my ranks who are really good with women. And, you know, the thing is, when you start to get really good with women, you start to have really, a lot of power. And if you start to, you know, just mess around with girls just because you want to mess around with girls, that's, uh, if you just move that female off of, an of, a, off of a path just because you wanted to feel a bit of desire, you wanted to feel a bit of lust from this female uh, because other men couldn't, that's, that's, you're just fucking up her trajectory. You know, imagine, Whoa. imagine if the female's a, a, a virgin and you just fuck her just because you want to take her virginity. Horrible. You're literally talking about exactly, exactly what I talked about in my space. I think yesterday or the day before where like I was dating this beautiful fucking girl, like absolute 10 out of 10 objectively. And, you know, at some point in our relationship, I realized like, I'm not going to marry this person. Like I'm not. And if I'm not going to marry this person and they're older than me and they have children, yeah, they're in love with me and I have love for them and I always will have love for them because they're one of the dopest personalities. And and you put a dope personality with an incredibly sexy face and body, you're like, yeah, I'm in love. And it's like, no, nah, man, at a lower level of consciousness, <laughs> I could have lied to myself and convinced myself that I am in love. But at this point, it's literally just an ego game for me to say that's my bitch and that's not how love is. That's all lust. And so... I had to let her go and it like broke my heart to let her go because I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, there's nothing better out there. That's literally a 10 out of 10. And it's like, yeah, but you know, that's not the one. So to keep her around just to have sex, you're playing yourself and ultimately you're playing her. Like, if you love a flower, you got to let it blossom. You don't rip it and take it with you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's been um, like we have to break that down, though. We have to we have to break it down what was going on. So when you first came across her and you first started dating her, you know, there you didn't really know that it wasn't the one. Like you didn't really have that idea that it wasn't like, you know, like you were just approaching her and she might have been a tr she might have been seducing you at some level. You know, she might have been trying to make you come at her. So when that starts to happen, it's like there's like you have a confusion effect on your consciousness. And that confusion effect basically makes you unable to make, unable to have that foresight to see that this is going to go nowhere. So at that point, can you really say it's your fault? But as soon as you start to have that foresight, as soon as you start to have that that foresight, which gives you that place for that, to have that that clarity of intent, and the clarity of intent be based upon the judgment that this might this person might not be the one. That's where it starts to that's where it starts to be your responsibility. So it's really important to start to make those type of deep distinctions because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people in here going to be like, well, fuck, man. What, a, what happened here? She might have been seducing you. I mean, I've, I've had a few 10 out of 10s come at me, seduce me for things. But the reason why I had to make the decisions that I made, which is not doing anything with them, is because I knew nothing was going to come out of it. I knew nothing was going to come out of it. And even then, like even with some of the, even in some of the situations, it'd be, it'd be basically like <laughs> cheating. Like I can't do that. So that's why it's like, in some cases, I can't really fucking mess with these females. So what it comes down to is the awareness factor. The awareness factor is really important. But now that I put this inside of everyone's heads, they're going to fucking, I mean, now that both of us have put it inside of everyone's heads and given a clear, a clarity to distinction here, it's going to be like, you can't, um, you can't unsee it. So it's really important to have that intention. It's really important to be aware of what's going on and to uh, make sure that you're not setting anybody up karmically. Because if you do that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back on you. You're going to have some sort of female who's going to just basically trot you along just the way that you trotted along the female. So these things are really important to be to keep aware of. And, and to extend it back to the original point that we had here, which is talking about the, the karmic implications of putting, putting something out there, it's all about the context and parameters. The context and parameters are so important. 
your awareness level, you know, your your awareness of the consideration. But when you start to put something out there that's really potent, like Andre originally talked about, he's going to put some exercises inside his book that are going to open certain chakras. And they might cause damage, they might cause psychosis, they might cause whatever it comes with the whatever comes with the rapid uh, opening of it and rapid integration of, into your body, into your system. The thing is, there is a blowback that comes with it, even if it's like out there, and even if it is like heavily warned, and somebody does it, there is a little bit of a blowback. But so you have to make sure that the words are like specially designed to like make sure that that the word the effect of the words communicates how how important it is to keep cautious about using these things and there's a level there's a level that you reach where that caution will start to f be felt and then it'll, it'll admonish you from any sort of karmic responsibility so it starts to come up come to a point of like skill level right but this is like a, i mean it is it's very deep stuff so i would just recommend getting really fucking good at writing and then making sure that you know you can communicate how important it is to not fucking and make sure that it's like truly felt the importance. <clears throat> so that's that. But what's going on, Tommy? Uh, the 